Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO and I'm yeah, hanging out Moses. with my boy who? Monday Moses, by the way, and we creating content every damn day. Man, hold up, man. This guy right here, man. Where you been, man? Man, I've been uh Oh nothing, man. Hold check on, it, hold man. On. I've been working. Listen, man. I've been working, having a good time, spending time with my kids. That's the most important part. That's just hard. I'm going to take care of my kids no matter what. That's hard. Hey, man, so, man, make sure you guys uh, uh rock out with us, man. If you want to see the full interview, man, you got to go on Patreon, man. Patreon is where we land in the full interviews. You'll see the clips on YouTube. You'll see the clips on Instagram. You'll see the clips maybe even on uh, Snapchat or, 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 or Facebook. But uh, to get that complete full interview, you got to get on that Patreon, man. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, we got a very special guest in here today, y'all. This guy right here, man, don't need no introduction. If you listen to that music, he, he to me, went viral here just here yeah. recently. I couldn't I couldn't turn on the radio without hearing this cat, man. I couldn't turn, I couldn't even go on social media without hearing this cat, man. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's a good thing about it. Though. Moonwalker is in the building. How you doing? I'm great. I'm great. What's man. going on with you? Man, I, I just want to say thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. Nah, I appreciate you having me. Man, so, you know, uh, Money Mo, you ever heard this song? Yeah, I heard this song. I like this song, because it's natural. <laughs> bro, it's a natural song, That's bro. Long. He's showing his side. He not showing like showing what the internet show. He, he doing what he do. Man, That's okay. That's why I like it. Let's get to it, man. So, man, where let, let's go back, man. Where you from, bro? Straight out of Dade County, Florida, Miami. You from Florida? Yes, Lord. You, you can hear it. Day, yes, day you can hear it. Yes, Lord. Man, that boy, boy he out of Florida, man. Mm -hmm. So, so... Okay, um, grew up in Florida. Mm -hmm. Liberty City area. What what happened? Moved just up just to tell the me. Liberty City area, which became Miami Gardens now, which is like the same neighborhood where well Liberty City is where the Trick Daddies are from. Carrie City area, that's where like the Rick Rosses are from. So grew what up in was both neighborhoods. That, that, it was a dang girl come on here, man, and she was from what? What was that that young lady from? The girl that was from Florida down there. That was a, with Trina and them on Nikki. that reality. Yeah, where was she from? She from ATL. It was some, she was from Florida, but it was some apartments down there. And they, uh, they, they was a funny name apartment. I was like, damn. The, that's the, the, bean, the butter, the butter bean, bean project. Yeah. You yeah, heard about them? Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I, don't know, I don't know who the young lady is that y'all speaking of. But, but you know that name know, of that? I know the project, the Poker Bean Project. Poker I don't, Bean. I don't know yeah, Poker Bean, something like that. What the hell is that? Bro, I heard on First 48 all the time. That's all the time I hear. I'm just about to ask you about that if y'all yeah. ever watch First 48. Yeah, you know, I always hear. You know, I watch that. It goes down. Yeah, yeah. Poker Bean. Yeah, it's hard. It go down, down now. Killing after killing after killing. What? Yes, bro. Listen, I heard one episode that they came to a drive out to a shooting and then the police came through the hood nobody said nothing and the next night they went to somebody's house the next, next house down the block and it's like they block so close together which is crazy mm -hmm. they close together yeah it's like it's like and everybody grew up with each other it's like it's like here from listen like from here here from from here to the to the uh the apartments down here by home depot but it's like they got like four four or five different blocks and they beef with each other in a little small area nah not really it ain't they that just, small nah a lot of times, would it be like issues like that? It'd be like the younger dudes, but the neighborhoods down there, like say, for instance, we oh, got like okay. the, they call it the beans. They got the beans, they got the subs, Lincoln Field, you know, like that. Those different projects or different neighborhoods might be feuding with each other. You know, things kind of like dying down right now. Okay. Things ain't too hectic, you know what I mean? But just like every other hood, you know, how, you gotta walk like. Okay, so you you come up, you your mother and dad was they together? Yes, Lord. And they still together today? My old girl is deceased. My mom. Yeah. Oh man, sorry yeah. to hear that, but you definitely uh, you yeah. grew up in a in a in a, in a stable home, and, and you was what what was the biggest thing that that mom left and, and taught you? Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. And the job is never done. Just because you got a dollar in your pocket, you always have to. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I agree with your mom. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I lost my mom in ninety ninety six. Oh man, mine was uh, two thousand four. Yeah, you never you never feel that spot again. Never, never. Yeah. It's a void you can never feel. Yeah. What? Um. Okay. So then you you basically come up, stay out of trouble. You ain't messing around. You you doing good. You ain't you ain't getting it. You ain't running. You no. Know, just like issues. every just like every young man. You know you you get yourself into a little thing that you dibbling and dabbling into. But you know you always got to stay focused because you know you got a goal at hand. You have kids. Kids slow you down. Well, in my case, you know, as a young and I had one at the time. Yeah. But you know, slow you down, change your path. You know, get, have little, little life lessons and stuff like that. To have you know, a little shook up a little bit. You know. 
get you right back on course. But you know, that's like hard. every you know every individual. Sometimes you live, you learn. You know? Man, so so you say, how old was you when you had that baby? Fifteen. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Why you say so young? <laughs> Just that's a, <laughs> nah, nah. fifteen. Nah, I was uh twenty two. Twenty two. That ain't bad. That's about how old I was. Yeah, you did yeah. good. Yeah, but you know. Situation you still with old girl? Oh no, no, no! But my, you know, my daughter, mom, her, and I like you know, super tight. You know, that we have like the best co-parenting type of situation. Yeah. Wow! So okay, so you you basically you were you did you early get into music early or no? From a youngin, from a youngin, like I used to like say things like my big brother. He always wanted to be like in a rap group, so he used to like you know force me to rap with him and stuff like that. Do you? I had a guy over here from down there. My boy Double A. Double yep. A B, yeah, yeah, yeah Double A. He, he produced for like uh, uh, NBA Young Boy and Kodak Black. I heard of the name. That, yeah, and he now he just won a couple of Grammys. We talked a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. and he from man, Florida got that yeah. heat, man. Yeah, it's a lot of youngest coming up too. Yeah, it's a yeah, lot of it's, it's right now. There's like a real big movement in Miami, but I just feel like that barrier has to be broke. So if I'm the one that has to come and try to break that barrier, then Lord, let me carry that. Man, so and. <laughs> Here, here we go, man. Like, like, so you, you basically, you, you start doing music early. When did you start taking it serious, though? I started taking it early. Early, early. I'm talking about like seventh grade. I recorded my first song, seventh grade. Is it on YouTube? Nah, nah, nah. nah. I had man, a little nigga. I had, he had, nah. he had his video on YouTube. He man. said, "Man, I'm not playing." I had what was that little? I don't even remember the little nigga name now. Uh, I know my wife would. What's his name? I interviewed a little dude. He showed me that video. That was dope. I'm like, damn, dog, you nah, really started shit. early. It was it, you couldn't hardly see it. Mm -hmm. He did it himself. Mine was horrible. <laughs> Let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You know you got to crawl before you walk. You know what I mean? There ain't nobody just coming in the gym just automatically hitting threes and they ain't never hit a, a, a layup before. Like, Lil Chad, oh, that's his name, Lil Chad. I, he, I, he, he be in Houston with Lil Chad. He the, cool. Lil Chad, cool. I, popped that in, I popped that interview in there, man. He was mm -hmm. in that hole just trying to get it at a young age, like six or seven. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Y'all love music, though, and ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Right, right. Nothing wrong with that. So, okay, so when you took it serious, when did you, when did you know you was good? I knew I was good when people I wasn't comparing myself to was comparing themselves to me. Wow. It was like, oh man, I'm trying to get my first to be like yours. Like, but I wasn't even thinking about your verse, bro. Yeah, bro, I, yeah, I understand it. Oh, I understand here we go. I'm not gonna do this, bro. I'm not gonna do this, bro. I'm not gonna do this, bro. I understand, bro. I'm not gonna do this, bro. I understand you. This man got a damn song. I understand you. This man's song is playing all over the place. I understand you. On TikTok and everywhere, and you just don't throw yourself. Just put yourself in the situation. I understand Nigga, you got work to do, nigga. Yeah, you got work to do I when you don't just you inject know. yourself into that. Now, I ain't saying you can't do it. I understand it. Well, this nigga hell right here, boy. He do I this to me. I love it. this nigga when yeah, he always. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna make a song called I Understand That Just Because of You. <laughs> <laughs> and when you hear you gonna laugh, like, oh, okay, so, I know so, why. So when you knew that, that you had one, I mean, is this, okay, uh, when you uh, think about just the guys that's out of Miami, uh, outside of yourself, who, were you, who did you look up to coming up? In Miami? Or, or period. Period. I looked at a lot of like R and B artists like growing up. Oh, you singing a little bit? I got. I can hold a little note, a little something, something. But like I, I looked at like say fans like when it came down to rap, Notorious B.I.G., Bone Thugs and Harmony. Because I always like as far as Biggie, the bars, like the metaphors, is like the the storytelling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Coming down to Bone Thugs and Harmony, like the the flow, the harmony, like the the outside of the box, the, you know, the unorthodox type style. Like, I always like anything that was like different from what was going on at the moment. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, Lord. See, there you go. Yeah, Man, Lord. Lazy Bone, shout out, baby. You know I rock with you. Yes, yeah, Lord. but you know, at the end of the day, you know, to to be able to listen to them boys, them boys harmonizing. Man. You know what Man. I'm saying? Like coming together as a collective and making one sound, like you understand what I'm saying? Like that changed the trajectory of things. You never heard nobody really do that like them when mm -hmm. they, when they first came. Like like they all sounded alike. All yeah. all of them crazy, lazy, busy. Wish flesh. Wish flesh. Mm -hmm. They all came with the same you know with that mm -hmm. same uh, tonality. So that that, that bam, mm -hmm. you gonna know this is right. who you dealing with. Right. Then Migos did it here lately. Yep. Right. Right, but that that you don't. But that's special when you get a group of guys to come together. I don't think nobody's gonna do it again like that. 
Oh, like it. who? Oh, amigos. You can't. That's your time. See, here we go. You, you y'all know, by you know, error. You, you can't. You going by error. I'm, I'm not gonna go by it because I I come from the 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 Bone Thugs and Harmony era, and uh, I would say the Migos era as well. That's right. Now in today's age, he may be right. When he may be to right that, because when it comes out to groups, how many groups really are? And I mean, outside the Migos pop, Ray Shrimmer pop. What was the last? Rap group. Yeah. It, we, we we missing somebody. Y'all got to be kidding no, me. Ain't no rap groups. Who? Ain't been no rap groups. No, ain't none. Ain't nobody. Can nobody yeah. think about no rap groups? Ain't nobody here. Nobody no rap groups. He might be right. Rap groups. Come and right. it and it hurt to see Quavo. And it's easier that way. And Offset. Y'all, it hurt to even see y'all even. Yeah. Come on, man. Well, I don't think that's gonna. Uh, I don't. I don't think you, 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 when we go into this, it's easy. If you watch this show, you know where I'm gonna speak from. Even though they they, they had a situation where it was tough at first, but it's mm. even tougher now because when you speak from a hurt place, yeah, it's a different yeah. way that you even speak. Yeah. So I think that's you, you, for them to clean that up. It healing has to take place regardless. Yes, yeah, it may have to take so some time. It's yeah. gonna take time. So y'all might have to stay out, stay out each other away for a second. Exactly, you know exactly. Cause no, they ain't be in a room, a room together 24 hours. But you know how they say, you can't listen to him. It's gonna be gone. Not gonna, don't do it's that. It's gonna be gone. You sit that man in a room 24 hours that man, yeah. what they gonna do? They either gonna fight or talk. Nah, you know, or, or how they say, this is make the heart grow fonder. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Like that separation y'all been away from like, damn, I miss my brother, dog. Nah. Cause they really put really in the same room. They if, really if, if that's really your brother, that's really your partner, put him in the same room. And thump it out. If that's you gonna get fight, over that's what you gonna do. No, no, no. Either you're gonna fight and get over it, or you're gonna talk it out and get over it. Either way, it's gonna get over it. That's why the people be looking at it. Either way, you're gonna get over it, bro. The people look at this show, bro. And they look at Murder Moses, and they be like, this nigga. You think he bad? No, it's yeah. not you even there, bro. <laughs> Listen, why would you avoid something you can get over it? Right. And then, then y'all two can know what's I going on. Forget what the world's there's, saying. There's y'all two can get out of the way. That's, just say, let's just that's say easy on y'all. To handle it. Yeah, because somebody could get hurt or killed in that situation. Exactly. You know? Then y'all got people in, the people in the background talking, his group talking, they group talking, they see each other, and the group's going to get off. They ain't going to do nothing. The group's going to start it. I agree with that. I got The groups do be tripping. It's so, never them, bro. Yeah. So it might just be best to just sit in that room twenty four hours and talk it out. Bro, that's I was it, about bro. to say just stay apart. No, oh, sit in that room. Stay in East Atlanta. Sit in that room. No, no. Sit in that room twenty four hours. They gonna come up with a whole hit. They gonna come up with a whole song. Moonwalker, man. Let me let me ask you this, man. Just give me um like uh what was the first uh song that you done that um basically you felt like outside of the one that we already know that you felt like that thing was the one. I had a song some years ago, a song called Potential. And it was it did pretty good. It did pretty good, but you know how safe fans is like they like that procrastination and stuff like that. I procrastinated and when I was ready to put it out, somebody already had done port- purchased the beat. There ain't that something though? I put it out anyway. How did it do? The le- the le- that there to be honest with you, that song showed me no, no pun intended. That song showed me the potential of Lizzo, of what the song could do. You understand what I'm saying? As far as mm-hmm. like connecting with women, like I put out another song called Winner, and I started realizing like I have a way of connecting and having conversations with women. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, what if I took this formula and we're done with it? You understand what I'm saying? No, I so get that it. song showed mm-hmm. me was again, no pun intended, it showed me the potential of what I could do if I really just locked down and just went full force with something. Wow, and how did you come up with the name of that? Just you felt like that name was potential? The name of this, it was like uh, telling a woman like, um, excuse me, but the, the second verse say, um, your ex called you a fat bitch, but he knew that when he was hitting it. He also called you a hoe too, but we both know you're not innocent. But that's <laughs> ignorant and that's old news, so we'll both forget that he mentioned it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Basically saying, I see your potential. That nigga is talking. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of all this shit that this nigga was saying, like, I see, I see what, what you could be. You know I see why you like R and B nigga, cause mm-hmm. you really be trying to say these hoes, man. Oh no, I ain't trying to <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I heard the lyrics. I heard the lyrics. I heard the lyrics. Because you ever, because what you doing is motivating those ones who getting hurt, nigga. Hey, it's the way to cop a cup. But you know what thing though? Like, you know, it's 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 kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like bad to say now. But yeah. let's say, as a prime example, R. Kelly. Okay. Let's put R. Kelly, Aaron Hall, any other bald head dude that ever sung. Joe. Joe, any bald head nigga that ever sung. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What separates them? The way that R. Kelly talked to them. Nothing, really. Uh, no, the way that R. Kelly talked to them. The way that R. Kelly talks to them. You think that? None of them niggas ever say no. Go to dinner and bed type or anything from let's say tp2.com or let's Joe, say 12 you can't leave joe you know don't you don't, don't you dare see R joe kelly? already said y'all were doing him like that Compared every time to he R tried kelly? to do something no, kelly would, they were label wait, mates nah don't get me wrong i love joe no you don't love joe you just diss joe really man hold, hold on no nah, you just I did not joe, diss joe what i'm saying is you trying to like R now, kelly. check this out now check this out I love Three Six Mafia. Okay. I love Three Six Mafia. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Project Pet is a very big inspiration of mine as far as how I was saying things differently. Yeah. I love people that does things outside the box to make sure that nobody else sounds like them. My favorite rap group is Bone Thugs and Harmony. What separates them two? They huh. sound different. Yeah, but the one thing I can tell you is, man, and I'm hearing it in your music now. I've, 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 I understand it now. But mm -hmm. we need you I because they ain't making no music like that. Really, well, that, that that really builds the the, the people up no more. It, it's mm -hmm. it's everybody really drilling us doing some right. throw, right. bro. Right, right. Like like I'm loving, and maybe that's what I'm seeing. But I like nah, the that's way what you saying the right thing. I'm saying the right yeah, thing. Yeah, you saying the right thing. I'm, I'm tired. Of, I'm, so. I'm tired of seeing it myself. I'm tired of seeing it. Right, right. But and that's the thing is that's for one, it's about you have to grow up at some point. You're not gonna you wanna to. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes I still wanna put in fifty cent get rich or die trying. I wanna hear That's crazy. I, I, I wanna hear that. I listen you understand what I'm weekend. saying? But then there's some time I wanna put on her or Jasmine Sullivan. You understand what I'm saying? So there has to be you gotta do something different. Going to the studio for one anyway, go to the studio and making a song about like Guns and you know what I'm saying stuff like that. That's easy. And knowing like, you ain't doing it, yeah, well, uh, it's easy. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I, I said it's a breath of fresh air to even hear the, the type of music that's being played. Like Lizzo, I mean, did she even? I mean, did she acknowledge the fact that you made that? Um, not so far. At, at not so point, far. Nah, nah, she hasn't. But that's but love, that, though, for you to but, even bring that up like that. But that's not. That wasn't the goal, to be honest with it you. It doesn't matter, but Ari Spears just dissed the heck out of on Vlad. Right, and she acknowledged it. A lot of people said <laughs> that. You see like, what I'm saying? You acknowledge, but that's the thing, though. Like, in, in with social media, period, like, say, for instance, like, a people, a lot, like, you can get a thousand positive comments, and then your mind will only focus on that, that negative one. Someone was like, well, mm -hmm. why you got that? Hair sticking over that way, like like oh, like, you know what I mean. Break down the fact of why you made the song, Lizzo. Name the song, Lizzo. What was it that stuck out to you about that to even make you do that? All right, so um, it's crazy. I got a Lakers cat. I mean, Lakers cone jacket and uh, dress. All right, so remember the, uh, when she went to the Lakers game? And yeah, she yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. She had her butt out, right? The backlash that she got from it was like, hold on, bro. Like everybody don't feel this way about. Plus size women. Yeah. Like, Face on Love said the same thing. Right. Everybody don't feel that way about plus size women. Some dudes, you know what I mean, are actually, that's their thing. You yeah, understand what I'm like saying? It. When it comes down to confidence and stuff like that, like I've seen Lizzo wear a, a certain outfit. And I also seen Rihanna wear the same outfit. But the reviews and the, the reception from the outfits was totally different. So it's like, you know what? There's a void here. There's not nobody speaking up who actually is into that. You understand what I'm saying? There's a void here as far as somebody actually speaking to those women, letting these women know that I rock with you. I'm with you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you, you actually listen to like the 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 bones of the song. It's like I'm gonna spread your whole. You no, know I mean it's sexual. You know what I mean, but it's actually showing 
I'm gonna love you the same exact way, out and open, the same way that dudes love smaller women. Yeah. And I think that's commendable for you to even make that song, for you to even, you know, show that kind of, uh, you know, respect towards the fact of no matter who you are, there's love for you pretty much. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, and I think that's hard, and I think that's the truth. Got to be. Because I've seen some of these people that be with some of these people that I never would have thought would have been mm, able I'm to get glad, nobody. I'm glad you mm-hmm. made it. I'm glad you but made But I also seen things like, that. man, you know, where people really look at people and, and kind of, you know, judgmental and push them to the side. I think right, right. what that song does, uh, it does even the playing field. Right, right. It's, well, it's, it, it, shows it boosts a lot of confidence. Huh? It boosts a lot of confidence. And what right, you were saying? Right. It shows that they're included. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there's, there's just like no, there's no more no's for you. Like here's a yes. Exactly. You know what I mean, in a world full of people telling you no that you can't do this, you can't be this type of model. You know what I mean, here you. You accept it. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, you know, let's just let's just let me go and tell you my spiel on it. Being that she from Texas, okay, it's a little different for me. I don't play by people in the South. Okay, so when you say somebody, you better know I'm yes, watching. Lord. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anything you know down here, mm-hmm. we ain't going. Yes, Lord. That's you know what I'm yes, Lord. So That's mm-hmm. when you did that, if you you know, I'm automatically looking like, what you doing that for? Right, you know, because right. y'all, I, you know, yeah, I'm, you I'm get, sensitive like, you, already. You, I'm protective of like my I'm sister. Very protective. Like, hold on, bro. Like, who are you? Like, why are you here trying to? Why is you? Who said you come see my sister? Correct. Where you from? What you do for a living? You understand? That's What's your it. intentions with my? I understand. That's you it. So like, I, ain't, you know, I'm not even yeah, playing yeah. by the period. And she dope anyway. Right. She right. dope. She amazing. already proved she's the fact amazing. that she's amazing. Mm-hmm. She's one of those ones that basically, she's already you know really carved her way into this era. Now check this out. I'll tell you how amazing. The only thing people think about this, right? Some of my sets be about like the longest set I've done, about 15 minutes. And I'm sweating. Tired. This woman is on tour, bro. Wow. Playing the flute, doing full blown dance routines, bro. Think about how hard that is. Wow. That's hard. There's she's a plus size woman. There's no there's no way she's out of shape to be able to do that. Do up to be able to do that. Yeah, no, I agree. Think about it. Mm-hmm. I agree. I, I agree. I'd like to go see. I hadn't got to see her perform yet, but I definitely would like to go to one of her shows. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, or or have on Boss Talk at something. Only one. Amazing uh, You you never Amazing. been to a show either. No, you just see it online. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's hard too. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, that's that's hard, bro. Like I said, um, do you think that? Uh, okay, who produced that song? Oh, uh, my song? Yeah. It's a producer named Euro. Euro? Where is he from? Don't really know. We met online. You met online? Yes, Lord. And, and, and you was like, dang, I'm, I want that beat to be the one. I got to hit it. you up. You hit him up. Nah, I just had to grab it. Had uh-huh. to, you know, heard the beat, created the, you know, the concept for it. I got to have this beat. Let me get this. I like it. You understand uh-huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what about, um? okay, how was it? When you, how long did it take you to write the song? Not long at all. Quick. Nah. Cause what I was doing was, cause I was a site manager. I was building like custom mansions for like celebrities and stuff like that, right? But my job was like an hour away from the crib, and on traffic, about an hour and a half, two hours from the house. So on the way home every day, I just wrote, listen to beats, just writing music. If I wasn't listening to podcasts, writing. You know what I mean? Listen to music. That's what I did. So, wrote this on the way to the house. And it was, this is a great song. Appreciate that. Appreciate but that. But something that Jay Z told Kanye, that off the wire, all that stuff when he first did it, this is a good mm-hmm. album. Mm-hmm. But can you keep doing it? Oh, yes, Lord. That ain't that. Sometimes I sit back and I, I listen to it, I'm like, they really like this song like that. They just don't know like what's in the tuck. Like you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about like Grammy worthy type of ideas, Grammy worthy type of you know performances as far as music is concerned. You understand? Did what you I'm know it's gonna blow up? Did I know Lizzo was the one? No, the, yeah, the song. Oh yes, Lord. You understand? Like I believe in planning and preparing for things. Now, when it comes down to like social media. 
Like I'm not like the best when it comes to social media. Yeah. So what I ha- I had to like okay boom I put out a song, tested as far as like how I'm gonna promote a song or whatever I put out a song called um, F Fame Fuck Fame, started promoting it. Okay cool I see if I keep promoting something I keep pushing it like the way I'm pushing it it's gonna do something I put out another song called General. I already had the song Lizzo so I said you know what I'm gonna do. Study social media. As far as like the behavior of people and how they like you know start doing things, yeah. So okay, this is what I'm finna do. I'm finna start promoting heavy on Instagram. I'm gonna do Instagram for six months. I'm gonna do TikTok for six months. Like I didn't really know TikTok. You understand what I'm saying? Taught myself TikTok. Promoted it on Instagram. Started picking up. People started pro like you know making real stuff like that to it. Went over to you know TikTok. Cause it started picking up a little momentum on Instagram, so you know what? Let me let me cross over a little bit. As soon as I crossed over, I got fired. Wow, I'm talking about like I went from making, you know what I mean, <laughs> bread to making sure my family good. Like we straight, we ain't got to worry about no rent, no. You know what I mean? To it's a side on the dope, like. <laughs> that was a, that's a sign, actually a sign like, to say like, you got to go full fledged with this. Man, that sign said, "Nigga, you have to be out by the first Like, <laughs> I know you that's, I, bread. that's a spiritual man. sign too to say you got to bring. So, what did you do? As soon as I got fired, the song really went viral. Like, as soon as I got fired, the song like label started hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? It went from, man, what the hell I'm finna do to." Nigga, I just got off the phone with <laughs> you. Understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it was like God was like, you know what, bro? Let me clear your schedule so that you, can, you know, what I mean, do what do what the hell you're supposed to be doing. You understand what I'm wow. saying? Wow. So I, I took my time, like as far as like I made sure I knew it was gonna be something. I just had to make sure that I stayed on their neck once I started promoting. It. That's hard, mm-hmm. man. That's, That's hard. hard, man. I love it. I love it, bro. So who else would you like to work with, though? I mean, as far as features. I like R and B, like I said. So, who would you like to work with? Uh, I would say uh, her. Okay. Nao. I don't know if you're familiar with Nao. Yeah. No, no. Uh, she's from uh, Cross Seas, from the uh, UK. Beautiful voice. Love this lady. Wow. Love to work with her. Um, as far as rap wise, I would say uh, let's say uh, finesse two times. I got something coming with K Baby too on my okay. project. Yeah. I got my you know my my own company that I'm working with too. Okay. You know, shout out to Breeze, DB, Shiny, you know, Swain, you know, so. How did you end up, how did you end up rocking with my boy Gutter, Gutter TV? Well, I have a, another manager as well named Drew. His uh his wife, or his, his girl, seen me online going crazy. She was like, yo, that's who you need to be managing. Dang. And what's crazy is, like, at the same time she's telling him that, like, I'm getting all these calls from labels, like, Labels hit me up. They want to have full conversations with me, Zoom meetings and all the stuff like that. And I'm telling my girl, I'm like, man, look, I'm talking to these people. I don't know what to say to these people. I need a manager. <laughs> yeah. I said, I need a manager. And like that next day, Drew hit me up. We got her. That's big. That's long. So it seemed like everything comes to fruition with you. Just it seemed like it happens when it's supposed to happen. It's law. You know what I mean? It's law. And I think that's believe. dope. Mm-hmm. That's live, right? He believe that's why. It's yeah, law. yeah, yeah. You all believe him? Yeah, yeah. You can tell. Man, you, you got to manifest. Feel it. Like if you see my uh, my lock screen on my phone, it's a vision board. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like I see, I feel like if I see it every day, it's like this is what I'm working towards. Like, it's, it's easy for me to go out there and just start buying all type of, like, foolish, look crazy stuff right now. You understand what I'm saying? But there's a mission at hand here. Wow. Oh, man. So, let me ask you some Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. We do that on here. Top three artists of all time. First and foremost, Michael Jackson. Who? Michael Jackson. Who? Michael Jackson. Why? Come on, man. First and when foremost. When Chris Brown is better than him. I ain't having this debate with you, man. No, I'm just saying. People are saying that. That's correct. I mean, that's everybody's. I mean, entitled to opinion. He said he ain't having this debate. <laughs> We're not doing that. Come on, now. Like, I mean, nothing, nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Chris Brown is who in this generation can make albums the way Chris Brown make albums. Nobody. This dude is phenomenal. He dope, and he needs that. He needs his his credit. Did he, you think he was right for? And I'm going back to the top. Did you think he was right for bringing up? Uh, 
uh, Blueface and his his old lady in his business uh, when they was talking about him about being a woman. Uh, I don't believe it's, I don't believe in speaking on another man's business. I love it. You're <laughs> So, so, did you? Did you? I I agree with you. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't believe in um, domestic violence at all. Me neither. Nah, but I don't believe in. You know what I mean? As far as like, you have know, you ever? Somebody like, nah, have man, you, you ever know, had any situations like, where that was something that any friends, any situations where it was put in your face, where you had to deal with making a decision to say, "I'm not rocking with this cat no more" because of the way his issue is or her issue is oh no nah, no nah, i'll be around some pretty solid people you see what i'm saying because yes, I, I mean i i remember and this was a long time ago man i was probably about 12 or 13 we was living in ogden kansas and one night my mom when i was this woman when she came back man that nigga beat her so bad i could hear her screaming outside of the house bro nah. i'm only 12 that's you gotta true, understand you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. and because she went out with my mom i remember this mm-hmm. And I, in my mind, I'm saying, I see this dude every day, and he don't even seem like that type of cat. Right, right. You know what you I'm never saying? No, you never know the character. I'm, t- I'm being real. I right. never would have thought that. And that right. night, at about probably about two in the morning. Right. Man, I ain't never heard nothing like that in my life, bro. And seeing her the next day, the way I seen her, and the police came that night. But I'm right. just saying, a lot of time these cases do happen. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And you have to find a way. And it's only because of what somebody has seen to even make them go there. Right. I don't know why I got thrown off into that. But but right. I know domestic violence is real. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm, I ain't rocking with it. Yeah. Now, so who's your number two? I would say, for me, greatest, I would say Notorious B.I.G. Here that, we go. That'll be my number two. Number two. And my number three will be Bone Thugs and Harmony. Who? Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone Thugs and who? Bone Thugs. That's my nigga, man. But you I know love what? ladies. You know let me, I let probably would have changed that. Let me switch it up. It'll be Michael Jackson, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Notorious B.I.G. Yeah. Okay, okay. What? Why'd you switch it around? Because of the the influence. Okay, okay. Because of my influence. You understand? Know yeah. Like my inf- it will go in that order, as far as like greatness and and wanting to be the top of the top. Wanted to make sure like that music is perfect, like a, a excellent sign of perfection when it comes to music. Michael Jackson will be that. Uh, when it comes down to separation from the pack, as far as being different and and organic and having your own sound and creating a wave, that would be Bone Thugs and Harmony for me. Mm, mm. You understand what I'm saying? So that you know, when it comes down to big, it would be the. The, the rhymes and the, the storytelling and the bars and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Making sure that you're not just rapping, that every bar that you're saying makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? That like that will be that for me. Wow. I I, 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 get, I get it because, like I said, when 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 Busy, Busy one of them hard ones too, but when them boys come out, mm-hmm. it wasn't nothing like like that sound. Yes, Easy did that. You yes, know, ma'am. that was one of the last things you can remember him by. Mm-hmm. Like right. was putting that group together like that, right, and and right. what bringing them out mm-hmm. and showing them love, and you remember the first of the month, you can still right. remember that being. Nah, you really the creep on the come up. That was creep like on the, the come up. That was the first one that we no, seen no, no, no. But, for the love of money, with them and Easy E. Them and Easy, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, it. The creep on the come up was the name of the album. Dang sure was. Well, you mm-hmm. love him though. That boy, he's trying to get it straight, buddy. Yes, he's trying to get it straight. <laughs> I'll make sure you know. <laughs> no, yes, um, so um, I think. You know, when you look at the the South and and the music that's coming out now, uh, I think you know you you lie. But but who, what do you think about the music in the South right now versus the versus the say the not the the two thousands? You know, like the mm-hmm. early two thousands. Like like how's the music progressing to you? And even with the digital, uh, you know, swaying of things where everything mm-hmm. went from CDs to digital. You've seen all this. You're not mm-hmm. you know Tape you to CDs. Yeah, digital. For, yeah, that's right. Right, right. Uh, uh, what what was it? correct me then if I'm wrong because I've seen the tapes I didn't even say the tapes because I didn't want to take y'all there mm-hmm. yeah hey, I see the tapes God damn I know some wrong so what 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 do you think about the music just give it to me I think I think the South right now is in great hands you know especially like with with I would say artists like from Texas like Toby with oh, artists like that Lord. like mm-hmm. representing the South oh, it. we're in great hands you understand what I'm saying yeah when it comes down to uh, creativity. And different artists that's from here, 
the South period. Cool. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna be able to like carry this torch for a long time. Wow. Yeah, so, I'm gonna bring some more flames for the torch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, where, hey, you ready to come on here? Yeah. Come on, man. We Let's waiting go. on you. Brittany slow go. <laughs> Brittany <laughs> slow go. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany he called you Brittany slow go. Now that's not the best. I don't know why. I don't know why Money Moses on your head like this. I am hungry. She gonna bring some food like this. I'm hungry. Here, put that on. I'm her hungry, bro. You gonna bring some food for you? Wow. That's crazy. I'm pregnant too. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Got to feed the baby. Yeah. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, so man, Brittany Low Soul just up, what's up, what's up? pulled back up, been missing in action for you a know. few episodes, but she here today. And I'm glad she came my way, man. Chicken, yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, y'all? Man. Where so, y'all been at? Man, you see we got I, Moonwalker here. You do you know who this is? Moonwalker. Yeah, at first, I was like T Pain in the building. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Shout out to Yeah. Man, yeah. Do that. <laughs> I, I got that a lot as a young For girl. real? Baby yeah, girl, yeah. what's your name? Don't do that. Ooh, How I'm you like, doing today? This, okay, this. but then I seen his dress. I was like, oh, no, nah, T Pain could never get this. Don't do that. This is hey. how long How long it took this to get here, those? This is him right here. Far too long. Check, Check it out. Hi. <laughs> Little bit of. Oh! Look, that's sad. Oh, yeah. Let me. I was, yeah. That's you. So you just got her I'm too small to be in that video, but that, that was, that's one of my faves, actually. I appreciate that. Thank see, I'm a, I did, see, I'm a fan and didn't even know it. That's crazy. I appreciate you rocking with it. Thank yeah, she got a little bit. <laughs> that's okay. I love that. I love music that lets you be okay with being you. Like, it's normal yes, music. Like, yes, that gives permission. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you ain't got to have all that, baby, because they still hitting it. Yes, is. Yes, <laughs> baby, I ain't never. Like, nah, you got stretch marks. We ain't going to do it. Nah, but, baby, oh, I'm still right, doing it. Listen, I never on stretch marks, bro. But nothing not, is wrong but what I'm stretch marks. Is, yeah. Nothing. But you got so many women out here trying to get rid of them or that's, that's doing self confidence. No. But what they really, if they take that same type of time to invest in something like that, mm-hmm. in like a business, self-confidence, hey, all I tell people is get you some more money. Yeah, right. you're right. Hey, it, would, it don't be nothing Listen, wrong with your self-confidence. That's just why need I get say some it's more money. self-confidence because men don't say nothing about stretch marks. At all. At all. At all. So where they getting it from? Never. Thank you. Because what they'll see is, they'll see. So like, women say something about stretch marks. Exactly. Marks. They get it from themselves, not us. <laughs> we don't care about that. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of things that women talk about that I don't think we care about. Like, at all. Like lashes. I ain't never look at the girl. Thank you. It's a, it's a you sexy. don't know you, but you didn't Bro, know you looked at them until so you. But see, this is the thing. You don't know you looking <laughs> at it, but you really do be looking at it. Bro, like, you no, know how. We don't. I, you I know, know. We don't care. We don't. We don't care. No, 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 no. I'm, this is what we I'm do, saying. We do not care. Y'all don't care like, oh, her lash got to be on point. No. But no. a woman Take that you may like, and she still... If she got them lashes, she gonna have lashes on. Take them off. We don't care. Take them off. Yeah, okay. Y'all don't what about lip gloss? Hold on, listen. So what about lip gloss? No, listen, listen. Y'all, listen. Care about lip y'all don't understand that we like y'all more y'all at home chilling. No, no, let me tell you why. Y'all don't think about that, bro. Let me tell you no, why. I know why. I know why. We don't worry about this one. You, come on. The only reason why you like us at home chilling is because men like the possession. Like they want you to be sitting right there. No, not not the possession. No, part, as far as the look. Of yes, you are home. Uh, not, it's, it's, a home like, it's a comfort. Home. Yes, it's not, a comfort. Not you being home and you staying. Home. No, it's not it's none of that. In, when you're in your element, exactly. It's like like you in your own zone, you being you. Wow. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Your question. How I often, have how often have you have been without makeup, without lashes, without your hair done? I feel like and they, your dude still smack you on your ass when you pass by. You better. Come on. But man. I feel like they just like Come you when you like that because when I be looking like that, I'm going ham. I'm going off. You know what I'm no, saying? No, when you be bro. all done, don't, don't touch at, my hair. No. But don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Do that. We don't care about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's what y'all say. Bro, we don't care about nah, that. Mm. Like, we want y'all to look good, but we don't care you about it. You just said dress no, it up we, and make it real for we, me. When we step out now, nah, come on. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, you when we step out, step you gotta out, look good. Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't try to look good. Make these niggas look good. Make these niggas look good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, yeah. Make, the, make, okay. the, make, the, make the niggas and the females look Y'all gotta tell me something makes sense because it's y'all I blame that everybody out here wanna have a BBL and everybody wanna have a 25, 24 waist. Oh, you taking it personal. I see now you get no, no, no. 
no, you just nah, said it. Nah, because I know you're going it. through some things. Don't nah, you? Nah, don't you? Cool. Don't, yeah, I mean. You just said that we still hitting it, right? <laughs> yeah, they going to definitely hit that. All right, then. So why, why you go to that point? Turn up, side down. That's for that self-confidence, bro. I don't mm. care. No, that's for that self-confidence. No, it's competition. They it's look competition. In the Who look it's in the mirror? Who look in the mirror and say, oh, I need this? Now, that, some, 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 of them, now some of them do need it. Some no, of them no, do. they don't, bro. But now it's getting outrageous. It's, it's getting outrageous. Listen, oh, listen, 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 listen to his song, and you're gonna be okay. She got but little the little stomach, but that's though, okay. I think everybody needs to stick really to up. what it is that they like. Like, exactly. You got a little ass dick, niggas that like little asses. Stop yep. trying to dick the niggas that like the fat asses. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's you a tight. Know, Hold on, y'all. Let's get comment. Come in, starting trouble. Let's give a moment of silence, y'all. Let's give a moment of silence. For what? The CEO E. Fade. That's a cold fade right there. Thank you. That, you That's know. a cold fade right there. Man, I love it, man. man. You know, I'm That's it's you. That's you. Hey, some people think it's fake. Okay, so That's you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's hard. Who got barber? Shout out, shout man, out to shout your barber. Shout out to Danny, man, at the spot, man. Ooh, that my guy right he's there. He's still too. doing. He still he he got the seals in the no he got the seals in the comb at the same time. He doing yeah, it like yeah, that, yeah, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my boy Strugs always. He did. He did this too. No, that's me. That's your boy right there. Oh, okay. So, you know, you do your manscaping. You I don't want them. no nigga really just, it's hard. So, 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 yeah. I see some. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I, I don't too. want them clippers on my face, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I seen some heads and I seen some I them faces. Them, some cool them clippers be going and nah. even to hit me. Ooh, on. What the hell? What, what you mean? Who be doing it? Y'all know the, hold on. Y'all. Y'all know what y'all clippers and be. What are we talking about here? Y'all be hitting. Okay. All right, so y'all don't use y'all clippers to go down there and... You think you finna hear an ant? You think the niggas at the barbershop? You show me the whole time. Man, so we're gonna get back into it, man. Moonwalker, baby, let's it's talk about it, man. Moonwalker. So uh, give him, the, give him. I know you got questions. You always yeah. Going, so. I, I man, first of all, like, how long you been rapping? Too long. Was Way too so so is this the first song that kind of broke out from what you was doing? Yes, Lord. And it went up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, yes, what Lord. advice would you give like artists that's like working, 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 and then like just something pop? What made what made this song different from the other songs you've done? You think, or what exactly? How did they um, pop off like that? The effort. The effort. Like, you know that you have dope music, but sometimes you have a dope ass song. You put that song out, and mm -hmm. it doesn't do what you think it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You looking for instant gratification? Mm -hmm. That's not the thing. Like hell no, nah. most people don't know who you are. You got to grind. You got to get out there and, and right. do leg work and yep. get familiar with people. Get people familiar with you. Yeah. So that was the difference as far as like the effort put behind the song. So so what 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 the effort looks like? Grind, staying in people DMs. Connecting with the people that's that's gonna rock with the song. Okay, and who who's like shouts to whoever, like you tapped in with. But like, well, how does that how does that look? Is that like is that like the bloggers? Is that like the music okay. pages? Is okay. who is that who is that exactly? I remember how back in the day people used to go hand in hand, like handing out CDs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I took that same exact grind, but I mm -hmm. was in everybody's DMs. So I was just sending like hundreds of DMs every day, mm -hmm. sending the song around. And we from wow. Instagram to TikTok. You know what I mean, just sharing it around. Wow, mm, okay. Brittany, Long Street team. Mm -hmm. Brittany, um, and we got to get him out of here. But I, I'm so glad you made it, so you yeah, can rock out with it. But um, for sure, man, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show, man. Oh, bro, I appreciate it. Man, you listen, man. Me. Anytime you in the D, man, make sure you holler at E, man. Yes, Lord. It's going down, yes, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we got Brittany Low. We got my. Oh yeah, I'm oh, gonna yeah. have to. I'm gonna have to catch you next. I'm gonna definitely have to get in your business for oh, sure. She definitely do. Like, that. I gotta get all in your business because, like, I feel like, you know. It ain't a name with a song. You know how you can see somebody? Now I see you, now I'm noticed. Oh, that's, oh, that's uh, Moonwalker. Yes, Lord. Okay, so when you got, when you make this song, right, I feel like when anybody or any artist tap in with the women, they gonna get a hit. Because mm -hmm. women, we really is, we we outnumbered niggas. I said it last night. See, uh, you, you, you missed the first portion of it. Oh, that. man. <laughs> when, you get, when you get with us, yeah. you gonna go up. That's okay? Right. He said it. It's about but having a I said that last night too, bro. Just knowing how to talk, to have a conversation. With yeah. Them. Like a lot of dudes just, the conversation game is crazy. Some dudes will talk themselves out of a spot with mm -hmm. a woman. Yeah, yeah. So you got a woman now? Yes, Lord. Okay. Yeah. So I yes, know Lord. with this song, I know they like, ooh, he said he was, they sliding in your DMs. I know you probably started by sliding in DMs, now they sliding in your DMs. How you respond to that? What you be doing? I don't. You don't? Hell no. Nah. What? <laughs> he like, hold I mean, on. He, you telling I mean, lies I mean, now. You, know, you said no, I got a little stomach and that's okay. You gotta think about it. I'm not no young dude for one. And 
couple months ago, you ain't want to give me no Gucci. Damn. Like, that's it. Why why it am I so special be. now that you want to give me some Gucci? Like, man, that song, like, you know, they say the song, they believe the song. Man. That's what's up. Well, man, thank you for coming on the show, song. man. I appreciate it. Say, you, man, thank listen, man, in the city, come holler at me like I'm P. Diddy, nigga. Listen, man, it's going down, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's been another great segment. The boss talk one on one while the boss is yes, talking. Yes, sir.